how do I increase my presence? How do I uh, give off a sense of confidence? How does one do that, right? That's a question that I'm asked pretty often. And, you know, I think, I think what it comes down to is what is my relationship? What is my body's relationship to the space around me? There's this, in, in dance or in theater, a lot of times what people do is they train to think of space not as emptiness, but as actually like a, um, like a substance. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Like, we're not just moving around in a vacuum. Every gesture, every movement, our bodies entering the room, it, it, it does something to the space that we're in. It does something just like adding a plant to a room can do something to that space or furniture can change the way a space feels. The same thing is true in our bodies. In what is my relationship to the space around me? How am I thinking about myself in that space? Now, why is this so difficult? Most of the time we're just like in our heads, you know, we're just thinking about ourselves as though we were uh, living entirely up here. And when we live entirely up here, when we're all in our heads, usually our bodies contract a little bit and we are having reactions to things that we're unaware of. But if we're in the space and we think of moving through space, almost think of it as like moving through a substance, right? Or, or like water, right? Like, like you wouldn't, um, if you had to swim, right? you're gonna make nice big strokes. You're gonna move through that water nice and smoothly. And the same thing is true with just the air around us, right? In a room, in, in a space, in a meeting, or in talking to another person. And if I am having a relationship, a physical relationship with the space around me, if I move and I gesture in ways that, and this is a little dramatic, but if I move and I gesture in a way where I feel like I'm actually in space, what happens is it, it creates a sense of confidence. It creates a sense of presence. This, this, uh, Thing. It's very, it's very hard to capture. It's very hard to quantify, but there's something qualitatively different about people who are in their bodies and are moving through space as though it were moving through a liquid or moving through some kind of substance. Again, this is how dancers think about space. This is how actors think about space. This is how we have to think about space if we're going to actually use it to our advantage, right? Use it for our presence and use it for the ability to have impact on others. So if you're looking for ways to increase your presence, if you're looking for ways to communicate yourself physically a little differently in the world, start with just asking yourself, what is my relationship to the space around me? How am I filling it? How am I moving through it? And see if you can picture almost this idea of moving through a substance, moving through something that actually ripples around you. And see if it changes the way you hold your body. See if it changes the way you interact with other people. See if you notice the ripples around you and notice that effect it has. And let me know what you find.